Dozens of masks are off at one West Suburban grade school. The student mask exemptions began this week and have pushed about a sixth of its staff members out of the door in protest. CBS 2 political investigator Dana Kozlov found a loophole making it legal for now. Day two of widespread mask exemptions at St. John's Lutheran School in Lombard and parents and a former staffer tell me at least 30 families filled out this form so the students wouldn't have to wear the masks. That's more than 10 percent of St. John's student population. We need to keep our families strong and, and we all think and feel how, how we do and we're all entitled to that. But I'm not pushing any way or the other. I, mean, I think it's really up to the, it's kind of left up to the family, to the parents. <laughs> It's the culmination of a two-month, often divisive debate within the small private school's community. Some families have left, and five staff members have even resigned in protest, telling me they felt their concerns were not respected. The latest a fifth grade teacher sent this heartfelt note to families this week, citing factors including the events and decisions of the past several months as reasons she was leaving. They did their best to support and stand as strong as they could, and they had to do what was best for them. Given the state of affairs here at St. John's. St. John's and senior pastor even discussed the mask exemptions at church Sunday. So we interfaced with our governing board multiple times, talked with our elders, uh, talked with doctors, and sought outside legal counsel who advised us that this is a legally allowable right in the state of Illinois. But spokespeople for both Governor J.B. Pritzker and the Illinois State Board of Education point out there is no religious exemption when it comes to the mask mandate. An attorney for St. John's points to the fact they are using the right of conscience law to allow these exemptions. The governor actually signed a law that would close that loophole when it comes to COVID prevention but that doesn't go into effect until June 1st. St. John's attorney did not say what the school would do when that loophole closes. Neither did the State Board of Education. In Lombard, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News.